Islam uh, in, in the eyes of God in the Jewish faith. They're very, very different. Um, let me, the question was specifically idolatry, so I'm going to answer that question in that narrow sense. Christianity is complete idolatry. Uh, now when I say Christianity, I just, to be clear, there are some Christian denominations, and there are probably over a thousand Christian denominations. Christianity is by far the most variegated religion in the world. Uh, the, the, the majority of Christians in the world, the vast majority of the Christian world, worship a man as a god it's dis, of a distinct person from the Father. That's very important. And they believe in what is called the doctrine of the Trinity, which was uh, a really a, a, a self-inflicted wound with the church brought upon itself, a wound from which they never recovered. So therefore Christianity is absolute idolatry because, and in fact in many ways it's the worst form of idolatry because Christians genuinely worship the God, the Father. They worship the Father as the uh, God, as the creator of the universe, but in addition to him they worship Jesus. Now it's very important. They, almost all uh, Trinitarians worship Jesus as a distinct person from the Father. So that means they have a husband, God, but they have on the side somebody else who they pray through, who they pray to, and therefore it's complete idolatry. Um, and, it's, and it's worse in, a, in that sense than just worshiping stones and trees and so on, because those who just worship idols and, and so on, they don't worship a father. They're not married to the Father. So therefore, that's why if you look at the Ten Commandments, the, the sin of this kind of what's called a partnership of God and someone with God is, is, is a commandment with, with the Torah warns us even before worshiping stones. The Ten Commandments in Exodus 20 begin, I am the Lord your God who took you out of Egypt from the house of bondage. You shall have no other gods upon my face. And this is what Elijah was facing in 1 Kings 18. Jews who, they worship Baal. But it's very clear they all shall worship God, the God of Israel. They worship both. And Elijah asked them, how long are you going to try to have both? This is the worst thing. So, um, now, um, so Christianity definitely falls into the area of idolatry, utterly and completely. And the Jew, in fact, is called upon to give his or her life rather than convert to Christianity, which many thousands of Jews did throughout history. Islam has a very unique status, and again, this is an area of idolatry, uh, in that the Islam is, is definitely not idolatry. M Muslims worship one God absolutely worship one God. Uh, there are Christians who make claims about Islam that they worship moon gods. That's absolute nonsense. Uh, Muslims worship one God. They're very clear about that in Surah 2, 163. It's, it's very clearly outlined in the Quran that there is no else, just one God. And, and therefore, Islam has a unique status in that they are not idol worshippers at all. They worship one God. Um, does, that doesn't mean Judaism and Islam are the same, but the, there, are, there are enormous differences in Jewish law. A Jew is not allowed to even walk into a church. A Jew, let's say, who's visiting Italy and wants to just see, walk into a church just to um, maybe admire its, its architecture or to see its flying buttresses, it's absolutely forbidden to even compliment it. You're not allowed to even talk about it. La Yishom al Picha, the Torah says. A Jew can't enter a Trinitarian church. Um, a Jew can ask a, a mosque, would you mind if, when you're not using the mosque, if we can use it to pray our morning prayers? Can we borrow your mosque? Can we pray? And we're absolutely permitted to, because it's not a, a place of idolatry. They worship one God. Again, and um, while Muslims believe that Jesus is a Messiah and a prophet, they don't um, 
and he was born of a virgin, they don't believe, in fact, they consider it completely outrageous and odious to worship any prophet as God, and just believing that Jesus' mother never went to bed with anyone isn't the particular sin. If you want to believe that somebody's mother never went to bed with anyone, that's not idolatry.